82% of the organisations that SEMTA represents are SMEs and I think it really shows at tonight's event just how much SEMTA is the voice of SMEs and how those small and medium companies that provide so much to the UK economy need that extra voice but because unlike the large organisations they haven't got the resources to bring to the table and that's why they do need organisations like SEMTA to give them that voice to make sure that they're getting what they want in terms of good quality apprenticeship frameworks and young people um, and their role is vital and we're delighted to be here to help them. I mean Anne if you look around that room tonight we've got some big names, massive names in the automotive industry and the SME communities represented. It shows doesn't it that we do have the ear of the people in the right places and and hopefully we can put that to good use in the, in the, in the months and years to come. Absolutely, sent to work with organisations large and small, um, particularly on activities like the Apprenticeship Trailblazer. We've been a key constant in the room, invited in by those employers to make sure that everybody's voice is heard, whether it's a small SME as part of the supply chain or a large um, prime manufacturer. Passion, experience and expertise all under one roof at Centre. How do you think that might manifest itself in, in the future or, or is it too early to tell? I think the future is bright for Centre. As we've seen here today um, and also at the, the debate this afternoon, um, all organisations of all sizes are commending Centre on the work that they've done, the skills agenda and helped organisations large and small um, to put their voice to government in terms of what a good apprenticeship looks like and really shown the facilitation role that SEMTA can bring. So I'm very positive for the future and really think that organisations, particularly in the automotive sector, do need that agency approach to be able to bring all the parties together and speak to government with one voice.